It, it would be easier Perfect. if I had Okay, like, go ahead. Go ahead. You have the shirt on. I have the shirt on. So what I do to make this, I'll just tell you. <laughs> in this particular pattern, I start on the side, <laughs> and I build oh, these okay. triangles. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> so that's how that's get them so perfect. Flat. Yeah, and in order to get them like this, I actually increase at the beginning and the center of each row. So every row is the same, whether you're going from the long side or right side. We can get you a new one from the back. And then when I get, get to a back? certain but size, to check colors, so okay. yeah. and then, then we can I, get as many as she really sorry, needs. Sorry, my, my knit front back increase, which is a, a sorry. total of two stitches, yeah. is right in the center here. And then what I do is I divide up those two stitches. So one goes with this half and one goes with this half. I see. And then I do an exact same replica. And then what I do to join them is I take half the needles. Eliza Hazelnut says, I love it. And half the stitches from the other side. Hi, Eliza. I put them all on one needle. Okay. And then I decrease exactly in the middle. Like a three needle bind off? No. No. It's just you you knit to the center, you decrease the the, in the right middle there? too. Instead of a calf B, you're doing oh, okay, it. Oh, okay, so you're, and then you're joining it in the middle. So the last okay. three stitches, knit two together, knit one, and then you do the same. And you just repeat that row, so you're decreasing that two. That is so cool. So then you do it all the way till you're down here, and then you have your top. So in the back, you're just finishing off the same the triangle same. in the back. But in the front, it's a little bit different. I now, I didn't tell you about the armhole decreases. So the way the armhole decreases... <laughs> ah, this is where I run um, away screaming. I know. <laughs> this is where I'm like, I need a pattern. This I can't is, do You this. will have a pattern. No, yes, but I can't do it with a pattern. I actually already wrote the pattern. It's not hard. So the way the decreases work is in order... You, you I'm impressed. You square off... It's very cool. If you're geeky, you will love this say, pattern. Let me that it's somebody. I love this <laughs> pattern. <laughs> you square off for the armhole bind off of three stitches. So for three, mm -hmm. it's yeah, actually six rows, this. but for three quarter ridges, you're that squaring them off. And know, then it's so beautiful. It's recording here. So. Oh. <laughs> I don't think you need to add that color. And then I'm just zooming in for detail. So after squaring off. You slope, and the way you slope is you don't do any increases or decreases, which is very cool and geeky. And then you go back to lengthening your armhole, and at that point, you once again you do an increase at the beginning of the row on each side. And that's how you end. So can we do like an online knit, knit along? I am like, doing an along. No, I mean. With every part of it, do a little video tutorial. I don't know. I can go well, on with your hands. <laughs> yeah, right. No, well, I actually, oh, it, when I was at, the, at the yarn shop at Montreco in, in Canada okay. last week, someone actually photo uh, videoed me, and I showed what the KFB increase in the center looks like. I tell this. you to place and remove a marker, mm -hmm. oh, but yeah, um, I, mark I want that. you to lose the marker. I want you to identify where, where the center like is this. and where to increase. So I did Sorry. a YouTube video, and I have a link to it from the discussion group. So that's going to be part I to do more if I can get these lovely oh, shop owners to video me because my husband has zero I'm patience so and time. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, it's just a matter of getting the right person to help me. But that one is really good. It's on YouTube now and you can find it on the discussion group. But the thing what is, what discussion group? Um, I set up one for Called this knit along. It's in, um, if you go to Ravelry and you find Art Yarns Knit Alongs as a group, it's called Four Triangles Knit Along. Okay. And I started it. So yeah, Art Yarns Knit Along. Yeah. Which one's that? Yeah. Oh, and so you got this is Lindsay. Amulet? Are you okay. Art Yarns? I own Art Yarns. That, that was our last one. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, okay. I've I've seen seen it. It. Like, no, there's no, enough. And yeah. um, more than they carry no. a lot of it. Yeah. yeah. Got it. And they're, I get their what? emails. Oh, yeah. You get it all the time. So I do knit alongs a lot. Did you sign up for a different yarn? Yes. Okay. So if you want. Did she pause those this? in addition to this, just have her ring them up and put a note, and we'll just ship them to you. Okay. Did you and pause you this, or are we still live? No, okay, so, so I just wanted to mention that um, we're going to tell you this very the specifics about the yarn to purchase next week. Yeah, I need two more. Next week, probably Monday or Tuesday, you're going to see options. Back up. And it's a really good idea to. Uh, get it going because we're going to start November 15th and you don't want to be in a position where you have to wait for your yarn. So these are all yours? Mm -hmm. oh. So when do you need to, you need to start ordering your yarn now?
Well, I'm saying November or one, around, you know, don't, right. don't. But we don't have the silk daydream right. in yet. Right, so we're, like I said, I'm going to make, the retailer newsletter will go out next week for the stores, and the stores are going to start stocking up on the kits. So make sure that uh, you follow us. And um, you can follow us on Facebook. You can follow your favorite store. Fabulous Yarn is a great one. You know, just make sure that you stay tuned because we're going to be updating that um, page on Ravelry. And we're also going to be posting the uh, pattern page that has all the details of signing up. Yeah. And the only requirement are, is that you use Art Yarns Yarn for your uh, knit along. Yeah, and I'll, I'll post it on our page with the kit. Yeah, I think it's going to be a really cool one because it's something that most of you, I Should, promise you, Let me see you, the side detail again. You've never done this before. It's really Hang on, I'm going to zoom in on that. Stay and really figure flattering. So. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And there's a non-heated version for those of you who want a casual look, you know, because I think everyone needs that one, too. <laughs> Are we good? Yeah, you're good. I'd love to photograph you. You look so good in that. I sold so many here. of those patterns, I can't even tell Oh, you're piling you. more stuff up here? Look at you go. <laughs> and it feels good, right? Do you need a bucket? Do you need a bucket? Maybe. I only have okay. one more light gray. Let's oh, see if there's here. one up here. I have a dark or thick yarn. That looks great on you. I love it. It does. does it yep. And this would be great to wear with leggings. It's yeah. specifically there. Yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. Thanks for the promotion. So, yeah, all these pieces are mine.